Today we're checking out one of the most underrated products from Google and Google Labs. It's called Stitch. Stitch is an AI powered designer built specifically for creating UI designs, whether that's a mobile app, dashboards, or full web interfaces. Think of it like having an assistant that could turn your ideas or rough sketches into clean, usable designs in seconds. And what's even more interesting is that Stitch is only going to get smarter and faster once it starts integrating with Gemini 3.0, Google's upcoming AI upgrade. In this video, I'll show you exactly what it can do, walk through a quick live demo, and talk about how tools like this are changing the way designers work, helping them save time, explore more ideas, and focus on creativity instead of repetitive work. So let's dive in. So what exactly is Google Stitch? Stitch is part of Google's lab and is basically an AI design tool that lets you build full user interfaces just by describing what you want. You can type something like a clean mobile app for fitness tracking with progress bars, light colors, and modern fonts, and within seconds, Stitch generates an actual layout for you. It doesn't stop there. You can upload a hand-drawn sketch, a screenshot, or even wireframes, and Stitch will turn that into a polished design you can edit or export. It's built to work with tools like Figma or Code Export, so once you've got your design, you can hand it off directly to developers. No need for that constant back and forth over spacing or buttons. Basically, it's Google's take on how AI can simplify one of the most time-consuming parts of building products, turning ideas into actual usable interfaces. And the cool thing, it's still early. Google has hinted that future versions, especially with Gemini 3.0, will be able to reason about layouts, user flows, and even brand consistency. That's when it gets really interesting. All right, let's talk about what makes Stitch actually useful because it's not just another flashy AI demo. First off, text to UI generation. You literally just describe what you want, something like a dark mode web dashboard with analytics cards and a navigation bar on the left, something like that. And Stitch instantly creates that layout for you. Second, you can edit it using natural language. Instead of clicking through endless menus, you just say things like move the chart to the top or change the accent color to teal, and it updates automatically. It feels like you're talking to the designer yourself. Third, it's got smart export options. Once you've built your screen, you can push it straight into Figma for designers or grab HTML and CSS code for developers. That means you can go from idea to usable prototype within minutes. And finally, iteration speed. Stitch lets you explore multiple design directions fast. You can ask for five versions of the same screen and compare them side by side, something that normally takes hours and is very tedious. For designers, this is a huge time saver. You still need to create your own creative touch, but instead of spending your energy on repetitive layouts or button spacing, you can focus on the fun part, making it look and feel great. For teams, it bridges that gap between design and development. You can generate something visual in a meeting, get feedback right away, and keep moving instead of waiting for mockups. And like I mentioned earlier, when Gemini 3.0 rolls out, this thing will likely get even smarter. Imagine it understanding design intent, like recognizing that you're building a finance dashboard or a travel app and adjusting layouts automatically. That's the level of reasoning Google is aiming for. All right, enough talking, let's actually try it out. All right, so when you get into Stitch, this is what it kind of looks like. As you can see that it's still in beta mode and we might be getting better versions of this in the future. But once you land on Stitch, you have the option to create either a app user interface or a web user interface. For example, today I'm gonna to create a web-based application. Also, you have the option to design it in experimental mode, which is create high quality designs in HTML with Gemini 2.5 Pro. And you can also attach images to guide your output or you have the option to do it in standard mode, which is to design with Gemini 2.5 Flash, so it's a little bit more faster, and generate HTML mockups and export your designs to Figma. Today, we're gonna to try doing it with the standard mode because we would like to export this to Figma just to play around with it after. All right, so today I'm gonna to tell it to create a modern web-based dashboard for collecting employee feedback, and I'm gonna ask it to include a sidebar with navigation, a header with a logo and a profile icon, and a main section showing overall satisfaction score, recent comments, and a chart of ratings over time. I'm also gonna tell it to give me a clean design, which is blue and white in theme, and rounded cards. It's kind of like a Google style aesthetic, but I wanna give it enough detail where it can generate something that I have in my mind. So I'm gonna copy that prompt and enter it into Stitch. 
So now I'll press enter. Let's see what it creates. Wow, look at this. And just like that, in a few seconds, Stitch builds out the whole interface. You got the sidebar with top navigation cards and even placeholder charts. Everything's aligned and visually consistent with what I've given it. And what's cool is that you have the option of creating a new survey button, uh, recent comments, which, I, which is something that I requested it to do, as well, a dashboard of a chart showing the feedback of the ratings over time. And not going to lie, this looks pretty aesthetic. I'm like pretty pleased with what it has given me. Uh, we have reports, surveys, analytics settings on the side here. So it's not bad at all. This is something I would actually love to see in a real world example. But now here's the cool part. You can edit everything with text prompt. So let me give it a prompt to switch to dark mode and move the chart to the top of the screen. So let's see what it does. So I'm going to enter that in here. Press enter. All right. So once the new screens are ready, you'll get a notification at the bottom showing the new screens are ready. So we can go to that. So let's click on it. So now you can see that the chart has moved to the top. It has changed it to a dark mode. It looks still pretty aesthetically pleasing. Um, what changed? Let's see compared to the other one. So the first one, I really like the side dashboard. This one is almost there. It looks a little bit different compared to the previous version. The comment section has changed a little as well, has moved it to the bottom. So you can see that if you want something specific that you want to keep, you can mention like, hey, I like X, Y, Z, please keep this, but change that. But it did follow the instructions clearly. It did change it to dark mode and it did move that chart to the top. So it's not bad at all. Another cool thing that you can ask Stitch to do is that you can ask it for more variations, like show me three different styles of this dashboard and it'll generate alternative layouts so you can pick your favorite one. So once you're happy, you can then finally export it to Figma. So let me ask Stitch to show me three different styles of this dashboard and let's see what it comes up with. So you can see on the sidebar here that the designs have been generated and has created employee feedback dashboard variant one of three, which is a more modern web dashboard for collecting employee feedback. So it's kind of like, okay, it's just showing me that, okay, this is what has done based on my original prompt, but let's take a look at them. So this is the one variant that I selected. Uh, it's not bad. Overall satisfaction is over there. We have our comment section over here. Let's look at the other one. The other one is not bad as well either. Uh, actually, this one I think is probably my favorite right now. I like how the chart has no borders and it kind of flows into the page. So this is pretty sick. Then let's see the last one. This one I think is the worst in my opinion, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this one is my favorite. But once you're happy with the design you like, you have the option then to export it to Figma. And you can also polish or grab the HTML CSS code directly if you want to plug it into a prototype or MVP that you might have already going. So the entire workflow from idea to a working prototype takes less than two minutes. And that's the real power here. You spend less time kind of wireframing and more time thinking about functionality, flow, and experience. And this is where I think AI design tools are heading. They're not necessarily replacing designers, but they're acting as creative accelerators. So designers can start from something solid like a design from Stitch and then tweak it and customize it to their needs. So that's Google Stitch, one of the most underrated tools Google's launched recently. It's a glimpse into where AI is heading. From text to image to text to interface, where you can turn an idea into a full design in minutes. For designers, it's a huge time saver. You still bring the creativity. Stitch just takes care of the repetitive parts so you can focus on what actually matters. And with Gemini 3.0 around the corner, this is only going to get smarter. Imagine tools that understand your design style, layout, and user flow automatically. You can try it yourself at stitch.withgoogle.com. It's free and genuinely fun to play with. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like and subscribe to the Universe of AI for more weekly AI discoveries and follow me on X at Universe of AIZ for quick updates and behind the scene posts. I'll see you in the next one.